Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and out of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to make vector portrait illustrations in Illustrator. Now, this technique doesn't really require a lot, but all you really need is just like a drawing tablet and pretty much a picture. And once you got that, you can pretty much just start tracing over it to get what you want out of it. It's simple, but it can be complicated at the same time. Now, I usually charge for this, but I want to start doing this more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up for people who pretty much just subscribe to me on my Patreon account. And I'm going to pull pictures from there weekly. So if you aren't members of my Patreon account, that link would be in the description box below. But with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and start this one. So let's make magic. Now, I want to go ahead and lock this layer down, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and pretty much turn the transparency down on this because it's too high. Um, we're going to be tracing over this, and with that being said, I have to be able to see through it just a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this down to maybe 50%, and then I'm going to lock this layer down. So, now that I got that, I just need to go ahead and hit B for brush and just zoom in just a little bit. Now, the brush that I need to use right now is just pretty much a regular brush. It needs to just be on maybe three points. So, if you go to the top of Illustrator and you hit the drop down, it gives you these options for different brushes and stuff like that. You want to go ahead and just click on the three point one. And with that being said, it's just time to go ahead and make some magic. So, I'll just start just kind of, you know, going real slow, getting like her outline for like her face and stuff like that. It's really simple to do. And now that that looks good, what I want to do is just go ahead and lock this layer down and then open up another layer up under it. Now this layer up under the outline is just going to serve as a base color. So what I can do is take the eyedropper tool and just kind of click in an area where I feel like that should be like the skin tone of the actual composition. Now with my pen tool, I'm just going to go along these lines and just make that skin tone. Mind you, if the skin color doesn't look that great, I can always go back in and change it. So it's not something that you have to be, I guess, invested in too much. Just know that this is the color that you're going to be working with for right now. Now, like I said, I can actually turn this into an outline and then pick the color picker again and just kind of click around and try to find what I actually want. So I think maybe this looks good right here. So I'm going to go with this right here. Now I want to lock that layer down and just kind of turn this one off and just go in again and then kind of pick out some of these highlights real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and use the eyedropper tool again and just grab a highlight, maybe this right here, and just kind of brush in that real quick. Now I'm going to turn that layer off and I'm going to turn on another layer and I'm going to also just pick another color and I want to make this my shadows. Now I'm going to take all those together. I'm just going to go ahead and merge that into one layer and I'm going to turn it off. Now above that layer, I just want to go in and start painting in some of these like lips and stuff like that. So her eyebrows up here, I'm just going to go ahead and brush that in. And also I want to sample from her lips because her lips are purple. I'm just going to go ahead and brush that in as well. And now I just want to take from her eyes, just go ahead and make some white eyes real quick. So I'll go in with the brush and then brush those in as well. And then finally her teeth down here. So I'm just going to take from that and then with the brush tool, just brush that in again. Okay, so now that we got this much, what we want to do is just go ahead and kind of click in on these highlights real quick because they're kind of hot right now. So what we want to do is just go into our transparencies and just kind of knock them down. So I think maybe 50% would be okay. So now I locked all these layers down and what I want to do is just go in with my pen tool and sample out some hair color real quick so I can just get this hair done. So I'm going to sample out this color right here and then with the pen tool, just go along the edges of this actual hair and then I'll fill that in with whatever this color is. That looks pretty good so what i'm gonna do now is just kind of move this up under layer two so i can get those lines in and then i'm gonna go ahead and copy this so i'm gonna hit command c but before i paste that in the front what i want to do is just select out a lighter color of this hair real quick just to get some highlights and then i want to open up a box so just go ahead and make a square and i want to put that there now on layer 11 which will be my new layer 
I'm gonna go ahead and put paste in front. Then I'm gonna take the eyedropper tool and then kind of sample out this gray. So now what I wanna do is just go ahead and take the eraser tool and then just delete out some of this hair. And then with this remaining hair, I just wanna go into the opacity and just kind of drop that down. So maybe to like 25. So let's just do a checkpoint real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the back layer, which is the first layer. And this is what we got now. So we got her face out and the highlights aren't hot or anything like that. Then we can go in and fix up some of her eyebrows real quick, but this is actually looking pretty good. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, so this cleanup looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of these into one layer again. So just kind of put everything into one layer. We'll name this one face. And now on layer 16, I just wanna go with my pen tool and just kind of get this jean pattern out, so. So now that I have this, I can just go ahead and turn this from stroke to fill and it gives me something white. So I'm gonna turn that off real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and make another square, which would be a swatch for me. And I'm just going to go ahead and sample out a color from this shirt. Now I'm going to turn layer 16 back on. And with this fill right here, I'm just going to go ahead and sample from it to pretty much get the color of this shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and click on layer 16 and then click on this box. But I just want to go ahead and turn off layer 16 because that's going to serve as a base color. What I really want to do is just open up another layer and get some more of these details out. So over here, we got a button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my ellipse tool and make this button. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy that everywhere I see a button. Now up under layer 18 will be layer 19. And what I want to do with layer 19 is just sample out some of these darker colors inside of this shirt. So I just want to go ahead with my brush tool and just kind of brush that through. And with the exception of me just kind of missing two buttons down here, which I'm just going to go ahead and fix now, this looks pretty good. However, we still got just a few details here to fix up on this shirt. So over here on this side of the shirt, it's kind of not consistent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and fill this all in with the darker blue. So this arm right here is just going to be filled in darker blue. It's just, I do like how it looks. It's just not really consistent with the actual art. So I'm just going to go ahead with this right here and just kind of fill it all in. I also want to do the same thing over here with this arm and just kind of make sure that it all fits together and it all works out good. I mean, if the shadows are just inconsistent to me, I just don't feel like it works out. Now on this new layer, I'm just going to go ahead and make this black and just go ahead and kind of fix up some of this stuff here. So it's just really just cleaning up. So anywhere I got a shadow without a line, I'm just going to go ahead and put a line there. And then just kind of a little final tweak before I move forward. I just want to go ahead and turn this one maybe kind of like an off white, not really too white, but maybe like a grayish kind of color. I just want to push the brush and then kind of go on on like the outlines of this and kind of make some highlights. And that looks pretty decent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going ahead and lock all of these down into a new layer and name this one shirt. So now we got the face done. We got the shirt done. Now we got to do is get this arm done and we'll pretty much be done with this composition. So basically this arm is kind of on the lighter side. We can sample out some of these colors and just kind of see what we have real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with this one. And it looks as if it might be as dark as those shadows over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new layer and I'm just gonna start from there. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush and just kind of go along this arm. That looks pretty good so what i'm gonna do now is bring up another layer and i actually want to go ahead and sample out maybe that not too dark kind of brown or whatnot i'm just going to go ahead and put that in here as well so i want to move this one up under layer 24 and i'm just going to go from there now i just want to take the shirt layer and just kind of put this up on top so now that i have this I want to just go ahead and do one more tweak to this before I start actually tweaking this. And I just want to go ahead and take layer 26, sample out the lighter color real quick and make this kind of little hot transition that's going on in this hand. So as you can see, the highlights are really hard here. But what I want to do is just kind of go ahead and just make that so.
and that looks pretty good actually but what i want to do is just turn off both of these layers real quick and i want to bring back layer one then i want to bring up a new layer and i want to go in this hair real quick so i didn't really define the hair and i did that on purpose but what i want to do is just kind of take some of these highlights real quick and just kind of bring it into this hair so i'm just going to go ahead and brush in anywhere it looks as if it's like you know being shadowed or being overpowered now this might look weird but when i turn this back on and i put this where it needs to be so so if i bring up this layer real quick and i kind of put it on top of layer nine this is what we get now i can take the transparencies and then bring the opacity down just a tad bit and this is what we get out of it so i'm gonna scale in real quick and i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of finish this out And with this, I just want to bring up my magic wand tool and just click on the blue real quick. So I'm going to click everywhere that's blue and I'm going to hold down shift just to get all of that out. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit command J. And then when I bring in my dust texture and just kind of create a clipping mask to that actual layer that I just kind of cut out. And then with this layer, I just want to go ahead and make this a multiply layer. I just wanted to give that shirt some texture. But I'm going to go ahead and play with the feel and the opacity and just kind of bring this in so it looks a little bit like this. And with that final tweak, you guys, this is it. So admittedly i wanted to do this every week but i can't keep giving out basic tutorials so next week i'll be drawing a person and shouting them out at the same time completely different from what i've been doing but i don't want to keep something going that you guys can already get I'm, I'm just pretty much pounding things into your head now andriana brie is an amazing ceo she actually owns a business called actually i can and that's pretty much just helping people become a better entrepreneur she also hosts an amazing podcast for entrepreneurs called start somewhere you definitely want to check out her channels because they are amazing but if you guys like this one go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you're new consider following and subscribing and if you have any comments about the technique or my patreon account or anything like that leave in the comment section below it's all up for discussion but with that being said you guys it's time to close this one out so stay amazing stay creative but above all else stay awesome